Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to do a vocal coach reacts to Mark Martell, and of course it's Bohemian Rhapsody. And I know this song has been played out the wazoo, but uh, in light of the movie and some other things, um, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to sort of break it down. Now Mark is fantastic, and we'll just do it first, and we'll talk about it as we go. Let's rock, here we go. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Okay, first stop, right out of the gate. I mean, he's pulling out all the stops, the Freddy stops. He's going, you know, the real fast uh, uh, Caprino vibrato that Freddy used. And Freddy's vibrato is kind of sometimes on, sometimes not. It's like he kind of had to juggle his vibrato a little bit. His pitch is just perfect. He does that little jaw thing, you know, with the, with the teeth out in front. Uh, you know, he's got, uh, and then he also uh, does a little bit of stuffed nasality where um, Freddy kind of sounded stuffy sometimes when he sang some of that. And Mark is imitating and emulating this flow. Flawlessly. So let's rock. Let's continue. Any way the wind blows doesn't really matter to me. To me. Mama. See what I mean? Mama just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger, now he's dead. He's got the real kind of fast vibrato. But you notice he's kind of stuffing up the nose a little bit. And that's actually a technique that you use to kind of close down nasality. Uh, but he's actually doing it in the style of Freddie, which is cool. Now again, his intonation, his pitch is spot on. Um, in fact, you know, Freddie Mercury fans don't hate me for saying this, but he's actually singing this better than a lot of times. I see, I've seen Queen probably a dozen times over the years and he's killing it. Um, it's good. Now it's one thing to perform and be in front of you know, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, you know, you get practically anaerobic, which means in the absence of oxygen, and you're running around on stage and you're trying to, you know, do everything all at once. And he's sitting in a climate controlled, you know, piano booth room uh, doing this. So there is a big difference in that. But kudos to Mark because he's killing it. Let's continue. Just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama. Do you notice the mix for now I've come and thrown it all the way, right? He's going in and out of chest, mixed voice, head voice, mixed voice, chest. And Freddie was just fabulous at that. And Mark's just nailing it spot on. So let's continue. He's got that real cry. You know, he's opening up the space just like Freddie did. And he's got just, again, he's bringing the teeth out into the front like that. And he's just killing it. He's nailing every innuendo, <laughs> every little gesticulation of Freddie along the way. All right, let's rock. Nice, Mark. down my spine Body's aching all the time Goodbye everybody I've got to go Gotta leave you all behind And that is the truth 
Okay, so he's also not just capturing, you know, all of the, you know, calisthenics of Freddy and all the, you know, the uh, starts and stops and whatever, but he's also capturing the emotion and the passion of the song. He's going in and out. You can really, he's believing what he's singing. In fact, a lot of times, you know, I get a lot of, you know, singers in the studio and they have all the mechanics working for them, but they don't have the passion and the emotion. And a lot of times it just feels like they're reading uh, from a, a, a sheet of paper or something. And he's not doing that. He's all in in the song, which is super awesome. Okay, right, let's continue. Mama. See? Mama. He's gonna mama. He's got that that Freddy uh, face going on again. Here we go. So he's got that too. Now, Freddie was really flamboyant. Um, there was a guy named Liberace, and I wouldn't say he was that flamboyant. He was a piano player in the 70s, and he's also very flamboyant. I mean, you know, everything's and he's really overextended. Now, that actually came, I believe, um, from, you know, a background in, in doing theater and broadway or at least liking a lot of Broadway, liking a lot of theater, um, the over-accentuation of vowels. Now, um, with real good mechanical technique or technical singing, we actually don't want to uh, sometimes wish. We want to be real kind of uh, static or, or you know, marbleized in the sound. We don't want to have that over accentuation of the mouth and the words. But Freddie, again, in being just really dramatic and even sometimes melodramatic, uh, I sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. You know, carry on, carry on. Yes, wow. You know, real a lot of a lot of. Um, flamboyance in, in, in his presentation. All right, let's continue. Thank you, Mark. Good job, bro. Silhouette of a mask Got a moose, got a moose Will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning Very, very frightening me Galileo, Galileo Galileo, Galileo Figaro, Bonifico I'm just a poor boy Nobody loves me He's just a poor boy From a poor family Spreading this life From this monstrosity Easy come, easy go Will you let me go? Bismillah we will not let you go, let him go Bismillah, we will not let you go, let him go Bismillah, we will not let you go We'll not let you go, we'll not let you go Let him go No, 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 no Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me Now, the other thing that was really cool about Freddie was um, he didn't just sing like theatrical stuff. He Again, he was all in, just like Mark's all in. So you think you can stop me and spit in my eye? Yeah! Like he was just, you know, he was down and dirty. So he had this really great tone. Whenever he kind of leaned into the sound, he'd get out this really nice tone. But then he could come back to like some of the sweet spots and um, and really pretty it up as well. So he, he can do the, the light pop stuff. He can do the, uh, the you know, the mid voice. Uh, power kind of ballad slash theatrical Broadway stuff. And then he could also throw down on some rock tunes, which is, and gosh, talk about composition, a great composer, whew, and arranger, killer, killer. So let's continue. I, uh, so you think you could love me and leave me to die? Oh, baby, can't do this to me, baby. Just gotta get out, just gotta get right. I want to point something out about this. Now the ooh, 
great. They really, really closed down on the Uval. That's a pretty dangerous thing to do. I know Freddy did a lot of that stuff, but we want to start from the open. Oh! We want to go oh, ooh, and start with an open throat O oh first and roll it into the ooh. Otherwise, you could actually pull up a lot of mass in the throat. The throat closes down and it's really hard to reopen that sound when you want to go up higher from there because it locks down the vocal folds and it locks down the larynx too. Actually, the larynx start, starts to raise and it kind of clips below the digastric muscle, which is that muscle right uh, below the chin, and it actually gets caught and it's really hard to release to go up top to get um, more range out of it after you do that. So let's continue. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, nothing really matters. Nothing really matters. Real dramatic, right? Going from from piano to mezzo and back, me and it goes in and out and you bring you know the crescendos and back and forth. Um, a couple quick things. Now I know Rami Malek, Malek excuse me, was uh, the star of Freddie Mercury in the movie, uh, but I heard something really weird, guys, and I just got to put this out there. Um, my understanding, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on this, uh, is that Martel did like all whenever Freddie sang, Mark was doing the work, okay? And I heard Malik on a radio interview taking credit and saying that he was the one that whenever Freddie sang, he sang all the parts. I don't think so, guys. I think Mark sang it. I'm surprised. I'd be really bummed if I was Mark. I'm sure he got paid some good coin for it and he got a lot of acclaim out of it. But uh, Malik, I mean, come on, guy. Give credit where it's credit's due. You got your awards, you know, your TV film awards and all that stuff. This guy deserves it, man. He, I mean, again, I'm going to make an even bolder statement. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, but I think he would have been a better match for, you know, line for line, Freddie for Freddie, uh, than uh, Adam Lambert is currently in Queen. Now, Adam is a, a great performer. I've never seen him really, I've seen a couple little things in perform um, TV and, you know, doing the thing for Celine Dion and some other stuff. But as far as, you know, overall performance, Adam is a phenomenal singer, great performer, been around time. Oh, and let's not forget about Adam Lambert. Adam didn't win. Remember that? Yeah, on that singing TV, TV show, Adam didn't win. So let's remember as you're watching these, you know, these singing shows that they have an agenda and they usually kind of pick the guy that they want. And even down to when the chair turns and this and that, they already know who's coming in. They've already auditioned their tapes. They've already decided what they're going to do. It's a spoiler alert. I'm sorry to say that, but it's really the truth. So, um, you know, a lot of times if you guys go on one of these TV shows, don't be discouraged if you don't get picked. I, I've had some 35, 40 students that have gone on these shows. Some have gone all the, almost all the way to the end. Some of them get dropped down on early on. Um, and it's because they're looking for a specific something. And if something just, you know, bowls them over, uh, they'll kind of let them go through and they'll see how it plays out and see how the people like them. But in the end, they've kind of already picked the guy. So here's a, you know, a, a guy that's just, you know, unsung hero right here. Mark Martell is, thanks to YouTube, got his shot. Um, but Malik, give credit where credit's due. And Adam, you're a fantastic talent. But I actually think he's going to, he beats you uh, in the Freddie Mercury department. So anyway, God bless, guys. I uh, hope this was helpful. And until next time, peace out. Hey, guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notified when I have a new cool video come out, you need to go to my channel and click on this little bell icon and it will actually notify you every time I have a video come out. Thanks guys.